Alright, what is up guys? Today we are going to talk about RAM. Now, I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with your DDR3 and DDR2, but what is the difference between them and what do they do? Well, I'm going to I'm going to explain that to you today. And it's very it's it's very simple really to understand once you um once you understand what RAM is actually. So I have this page brought up on the internet that I'll put the link to in the description to uh give you more information about that. So DDR stands for Double Data Rate RAM. Double Data Rate RAM was ca is capable of two data rates or two data transfers per clock cycle, meaning that um, while your uh, CPU is running, the standard DDR RAM will be able to send two threads of information over that clock cycle at one time. Now, giving it it has twice the theoretical power of of standard SD RAM that was before the predecessor to DDR RAM, and uh, takes up twice uh, or twice as less bandwidth as SDRAM did while running on the same clock speed. So with that being said, SDR RAM or SDDR RAM and DDR are pretty much improvements of the same technology. Same with DDR2 and DDR3. Now this is going to be very confusing for you guys. This webpage right here or that or right here will um, give you so much more information about it and be so much more easier for you to understand by just reading this. So, like I said, DDR2 and DDR3 are, imp are improvements of the same technology. Okay, DDR2 RAM provides four data rates per cycle, four data transfers per cycle. So, instead of sending um, two data transfers per one clock cycle like DDR1 does, DDR2 sends four. Now, DDR3 sends eight per clock cycle. Now, you can see the difference between the speeds in those two. So that's where you get your big speed increase between your DDR, DDR2, and DDR3. Okay, so put it like this. 4 gigs of DDR2 would probably be equal to about 2 gigs of DDR3. And so if you move it back even more, you could go 6 gigs of DDR would be equal to about 2 gigs of DDR2. So you see the speed difference between all three of these. Now this is probably very confusing for you guys, but this web page right here will describe it and um, explain it way more easier than I will be able to. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give you some more information. on. Like I said, DDR3 provides eight data transfers per clock cycle, assuming the base clock speed is 100 megahertz. Now DDR RAM will provide you with 16 MB, MB slash S of bandwidth. DDR2 provides 3200 MB slash S bandwidth. And DDR3 um, provides 6400 MB slash at the bandwidth. And my theme just crashed. Oh well. Anyway, continue, continuing on with the video. That is pretty much the difference between SD RAM, DDR, DDR2, and DDR3. Now then, uh, in, um, let's see, I think it was in 2008 or 2007 is when DDR3 came out and all the DDR2s were starting to be replaced by that. Now, certain motherboards that run DDR2 will not run DDR3. You have to have a DDR3 ready motherboard to run it, um, which most of your computers come with nowadays. If not, then you have a problem. Now I'm gonna show you a good example of DDR um, RAM and and what I mean by that. Because for instance, well, I'm, this is my new computer I'm buying. But anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, I was gonna buy a computer that processes at 3.0 gigahertz and uh, has four gigs of DDR2. Now this is it right here, and it's very, very low price, but good for its price and size. It's got an Intel Pentium D925 uh, processor at 3.0 gigahertz, 4 gigs of DDR2, 1 terabyte hard drive, and 32-bit, and so on. Now what that 4 gigs of DDR2 means is it would be just as powerful as my AMD dual-core laptop over here that has 2 gigs of DDR3, because since it has 4 gigs of DDR2, it would set it back to the point where it has 2 gigs of DDR3. You see what I'm saying? It would be just as powerful as that 2 gigs. The 4 gigs of DDR2 would be just as powerful as the 2 gigs of DDR3, and so forth. So that should give you an idea of how the RAM works. Um, so I know this was very confusing, and it's kind of hard for me to explain unless you know you guys know what RAM is, but I'm going to post this link right here in the description to give you a better idea of what RAM is and help you guys out more with this. But uh, if you have any questions, send me a message, drop a comment. I know this is, I know this is confusing. Uh, it was confusing for me when I first learned it. But um, anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Later.